Alright, in this video we'll be taking a brief look at how to set up a manual threaded 16mm projector. The majority of tutorials I could find only explain how to use auto threading ones. In this case we'll be using a Bell & Howell, uh, Bell and Howell 644 16mm projector. Now of course the first thing you need will be a mains cable. In the case of this projector it doesn't use a standard kettle lead, it uses, well, whatever that is. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this into the back and switch the power on. There we go, we now have power. And we're going to remove the cover just by pushing on the latch there. And it reveals our glorious projector. Now the first thing we need to do uh, aside from focusing the camera, will be to extend each of these arms. So they are now ready to have reels placed onto them. You may also want to check that there's no dust or build up on the film gate, which happens quite a bit if you have particularly old films. Uh, you may also want to check under these sprockets and everything. Make sure there's nothing clogging the film path. Now, what's on the 644. Uh, you have to lift up these little locks here by pushing down on the button and they'll lift and let you pass the film through. So next thing we need will be some reels to put on. Now I've had to move the camera out slightly. You of course need a take up reel and whatever film you wish to play. In this case it's an episode of the TV show Markham which was broadcast on CBS back in the late 50s. Now, I'm going to put the take up reel on the back of the projector. Uh, it can only go on one way, because the spindle is square. Just make sure it's nice and secure on there, don't want it falling off. And we'll do the same with our film, being careful not to unwind it too much, on the top arm here. Okay, now the threading procedure will differ on your projector, but I will go through the threading procedure for this particular model. Okay, so this is the threading procedure for the Bell and Howell 644. As I explained earlier, these little locks, they move up and down just by pushing these buttons here. And uh, same for the bottom as well. So, make sure that our film gate is open, uh, which we do just by pulling on the focus dial here, and using a thumb as a bit of leverage and it nice swings open, it's just a little catch. So we're going to put our film underneath this first roller here and on top of the sprocket wheel, line up the teeth there and then lock it down. Make sure it's nice and secure, take out some of the slack there. And here is the important part which is where we have to form our loop. Uh, you just align the film with the loop guide there and just go to tuck the film underneath this bottom roller here, which I shall show you in a second. There we go. We've now made our loop, and um, we're going to close the film gate. Uh, in fact, yep. Now we do a very similar procedure on the bottom here, which is where we have the film going over this sprocket here. And here's an important part, these two uh, arms on the sound drum will move up and down. You move them up, wrap it around the sound drum, and make sure that you've got a bit of tension in there. Um, so they don't close together completely. Um, pull it on so when you stick it under there there's actually a bit of tension. I uh, put it underneath the sprocket here, and again push that up so it locks. Making sure that this is taut around the sound drum, otherwise you'll get wobbly sound, and it won't sound very nice. Uh, next thing is to make sure it's going under this roller here. And then on the back, there's actually two rollers. Uh, make sure it just wraps around in a almost figure eight around there, and then. Quite simply, we just put it back onto our take-up reel, like so.
Now, one thing you may want to do is of course make sure you have everything locked. They're easy to miss and they will cause you headaches if they're not done properly. We then can use the inching dial on the back of this projector to make sure that everything is in place and moving nicely, which in this case it seems to have done. Now of course, here is the point where if you wish to use an external speaker like I am, uh, you plug it in at the front. This will disable the built-in valve amplifier. Um, which way it goes in. There you go. And uh, now I'll turn on our sound. Which you can hear has worked. Uh, it can take a while sometimes because it's a valve amplifier. If they haven't been warmed up in a while then expect to wait a while for your sound to come on. But we can hear that lovely buzzing, which means we should be in business. Of course, you need to turn the projector on, make sure it's all going through, and then focus on your screen there. Solutions are always the same violent, bloody, sorrowful. And sometimes, in the midst of the greatest struggle, private citizens use this cloak of violence to cover. And at this point, it'll be a good idea to show you how to rewind a film. Now, what you need to do on this model is hold down this button, lift up the reel so it's in, so it clicks into place just there. Now I'll take up this slack, put the projector into reverse mode, and hold down the rewind button. There we go, the film is now ready to put back in its tin. Just take the reel off. Put these back in their original position. Turn the amplifier off and you're away.